Hi, in this session I'm going to go over how to create a scrolling horizontal table. So what I mean by that is maybe we have a set of data here and we want to be able to scroll and see values. This is actually data for these three items, maybe this is sales data, for these three items for uh, different months. And this is January 2000 to December 2000. But as we click the arrow here you can see it goes to all the way to December 2005. So the two so all this stays within this the confines of columns B to M. But the data behind this is actually much longer. If I go into this data tab here, you just note the values here. If we go into the data tab here, we see this is actually five years of data that is in this table. We go all the way down to the end here. We can see it goes all the way down to 2005. So instead of scrolling using the scroll bar down here as part of the window, we can have it as this control here. And if we select within the scroll bar, it increments or decrements uh, 12 months. So this scroll bar tells us a lot of information but within a smaller space or smaller footprint. This is pretty pretty valuable if you don't have too much space within your spreadsheet or you're doing something for dashboards. This is kind of a neat little trick that you can do. You can do. Um, also there's this item number position. I'll go over it in a little bit when I show you the example of how to do this. So let's go about how to create this scroll bar table. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a subset of this data instead of five years. I'm just going to take three years worth. So that's going to go up to uh, 2002. So let me go to 2002. Let me go to December. Select that Control C to copy, and go into this other data tab, and in cell A1, Control V, and I'll paste it. Uh, so look, there's a there's a number that's there for no reason. So I'll go ahead and just press Delete to get rid of that. So now what I want to do is build this this table and the scroll bar. So I'm going to build column A first. And basically column, like column A, I'm just going to reference the items in here. So items 1, 2, and 3. What I'm going to do is press equal, go back to the data 2 tab, and select that. You can see now it's just referencing that worksheet, data 2, uh, cell A2. Press enter. You can see that now it's referenced that. I'll go ahead and just click on this fill handle and drag, left left click, drag it down, and it will reference the other two items. Now I want to go ahead and bring over the scroll bar, create a scroll bar. And to create a scroll bar, you need to have the developer tab available. If you don't have that available, uh, you can probably just click on anywhere in the other tabs that you're in, right click and select customize the ribbon. Make sure that this checkbox for developer is checked off. Once that is, the developer tab will show up. I'm going to click OK. And in the developer tab, I want to go to controls, insert the insert the form controls and the scroll bar form control. Once I click on that, I can probably build it in now. So instead of doing 12 months, let's just do six months. So that's set one, two, three, four, five, six. That's going to go all the way up to column G. So I'll start in column G right here and left click and draw it out. Left click hold and just draw out that control bar. I'm going to end over here in B. So now when I've got the control bar, I need to go ahead and right click it to bring up the, con the form control dialog box. Oops. Let me go ahead and select it again. Right click, format control, and now my format control dialog box is open. I want to make sure I'm in the control tab, and these are the value, the arguments that I'm going to change. So the minimum value I want to have is 1. We're going to start off, start off at 1. So what that basically means is when we do our offset function, it's going to go one column, one, two, three, four. So basically, I want to start at one. The maximum value is going to be 31. So why 31? Well, basically, what we want to do is when it 31, when we have a reference in our offset function, it's going to reference in column A here. So it's going to bring it. When we go to th 31, that's the maximum value. When you click this arrow, it goes to 31. It's going to start at 31 here. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. So 36 months in, th in a three-year time period. right? So that's where we want our maximum value at. That's why we have to select at 31. So the increment change, when we click these arrows, it's only going to change one value. So that's there. Uh, for the page change, we want to have it at 6. So each time we click outside of this block here or the, the to the right of the block or the left of the block it's going to change it six values so that's basically the six months six months view forward or backward so with the cell link 
the cell link, what we want to do is we want to go back in the data tab and well I don't I didn't create it here yet so let me go ahead and just cell link to cell C7 and make sure that's selected and click OK so let me just go back here in cell C7 and that's going to be our position number so I'm just going to give it a label see how it entered number one in there already because we had number one as our starting value you can see that if I change if I increased it you'll see that go I, I selected it I click the button once this should go to number two now so you can see it went to number two all right so this form control is done now all I need to do now is create use the offset function to fill out the rest of the table here so I'm gonna select from cell B1 all the way to cell G4 so this is the range that I want to have the data filled out from my um, data here my data 2 tab so here I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that I've that one is selected I'll go ahead and type equal offset open parentheses and the reference is where you want to start off at the table so let me go back to data 2 tab here I want to start off here this is going to be where I'm going to start and then that's going to be where we'll I put the comma and do I know we need to go in the row argument where do you want to move up and down uh, we don't want to move because we're not doing a vertical scrolling we're doing horizontal scrolling so that rows is going to be zero then comma and then columns so the columns so the column is basically going to be based on this position number so once I'm going to select that and so what it means that as it moves across as this number moves up and down maybe goes to three it's going to go three columns to the right if it, or if it's going to go one column to the right so it depends on what this number is so we're just referencing that number based on the scroll I'm not going to I don't need to do adjust the, the height or the width here so I'm just going to use close parentheses and let me go back into scroll tab number two so now it says ready here we don't want it to be ready because what we want to do is in one fell swoop we want to be able to copy the formula over everything here make sure that you're still back here in the formula bar you can see now it's changed to edit and once that's in edit mode I can press control oh and I forgot something you want to make sure that this cell here that is referencing from this data tab you want to make sure that that is an absolute cell reference so let me go ahead and click in here so you want to make sure that you press the F4 key it's going to put a dollar sign in front of the C in, cell, in C7 so what happens is when it gets copied onto the other cells that absolute cell reference stays there so like I said before you need to be in edit mode and go ahead and press control enter so that's going to copy that function onto the other cells what you notice also is now you see that this is doesn't look like the dates doesn't look like June January 2000 February 2000 well basically that's the way Excel sees dates it sees them as serial numbers and what we need to do is just change the formatting so I go under I'll just select the cell here from B1 to G1 go under home and let's see let me go ahead and go under more number formats and let's go to date so let's look for it here I think this is it right here so go Jan 000 click OK and we see that now that's filled out for us so now let's just go ahead and check and see this took care of it so we have 250 257 206 for January 2000 and that's correct let me go all to the very end for December 700 779 298 if we go to the very end here I'm just going to go ahead and bring it to the end here December 700 779 298 and so there goes our scroll bar and so the rest of it you can just go ahead and do some formatting it's just design so maybe I wanted to make this look a little nicer I'll just select this and go ahead and bring in some borders and also maybe select this make the header I select that and then control do a multi non non contiguous cell select so I just press control right click that then press control and then right click and drag and select that and go ahead and go into cell styles and maybe give that a nice blue and this form here looks like there's some space here so I'm just gonna go ahead and move it up a little bit there we go just click that and move it up a little bit And then uh, you can also press the Alt key to snap it into the lines. 
So I can select that and snap it into. So it's gonna it's gonna snap it into the cell. So when you press Alt and, and use those to move it around, you see how it it filled out the cells kind of nicely. There's no gaps anymore. So we'll go ahead and did that, and now we've got our scrolling table. So there's the example of how to build a scrolling horizontal table. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.